Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to give you another update on Miss Donut here, um, which <laughs> Olive is trying to get in the way, but this is Miss Donut. Uh, so if you've seen any of these prior update videos, you'll know that Donut has a pituitary gland tumor, which is a type of brain tumor, and she is on medications for it. And at this point, she is four months in, meaning that she's been on meds for four months, and she is doing fantastic. Uh, there are some obvious side effects. Uh, you can see her fur has mainly disappeared. Um, I have Olive here, so you can see that the balding is not completely due to her medications. Olive is her sister, and uh, they are both either poor Rexes or Velveteens. That's their coat type. And especially in the case of Rex rats, they do tend to bald some with age. So part of the thinning fur and balding is due to their fur type. However, you can see that Donut is clearly way more bald than Olive, and that is because of the medication she's on. She's on a steroid, um, prednisone long term, and that seems to occasionally have the side effect of causing hair or fur loss. So, you know, that's what's happening with Donut. But yeah, it doesn't affect her at all, and even though she does look very funny, uh, she is perfectly happy. She is a little bit more slender than she used to be, but honestly, she maintains her weight pretty well. I give her just one supplemental feeding a day now, and she does really well on it. She takes her meds no problem. I mean, she doesn't like the taste of them, but it only takes like 30 seconds to give them to her, and she gets really excited about meds time because she gets her Ensure and Omnivore care first, and that's what she gets as a supplementary feeding. So yeah, overall, she is quite happy with the schedule. All the rats actually know her schedule. They're always awake and ready to go when Donut's getting her medication because they know they will get some treats as well. But yeah, overall, Donut is doing really well. Uh, I know I've said this the last few updates, but it's just, you know, something that I like to continue being able to say because it's kind of a novelty. And I'm just so glad that Donut has continued to do so well and live a quality life. She hasn't had any symptoms return since she started on steroids all the way back on, I think, November 1st of last year. So at this point, it's been, like I said, four months. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. She is just doing really well. And I did mention recently that she had a few issues pop up. She had a choking incident, which I think was completely unrelated to the pituitary gland tumor. Unfortunately, rats sometimes just eat too fast, and thankfully their choking is usually not a true blockage. And in Donut's case, she was able to work it out herself in just a few minutes, but still, you know, it's a scary experience and I'm always worried they're going to aspirate, and thankfully she did not, and she is just fine. It's been, I don't want to say a month since that happened, so, you know, she is doing just fine. Uh, and she also had an incident where she seemingly had an allergic reaction to some food a few weeks back, and again, she recovered from that no problem. She never really went into any sort of distress that was more on my part, um, but really she was never bothered, and she has had no problems since then, and that was also several weeks back. So yeah, Donut is just doing great. And I know that I sound like a broken record, but honestly, I'd rather sound like a broken record than have new news because as I've said before, no news is good news in this case because I would very much prefer that Donut just stay stable and that is what she has been staying so far. So very glad to report that. Uh, and well, as you can see, the rats are very excited to get some yogurt. I have not done any sort of training with them today, so they are all over me. And I also have them all out, which is not always what I do during these sessions with Donut. But it's kind of late, and I cleaned the rat's cage today and had to free range the other rats, who unfortunately are not fully done being introduced to this group yet. So they are not free ranging together yet. So I thought I'd just go ahead and film this with everyone out. Or I should say everyone in this group, because unfortunately the three rats in my other group have not fully bonded with this group yet. And in particular, Miss Donut is one of the problem rats. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think they are slowly getting better, so hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to free range at the same time and then have them live together. But for now, everyone's schedule is separate, uh, with the exception of their kind of pre-arranged meeting times, which they do daily. Anyways, that's it for this video. Sorry for hijacking it with the uh, extra information. There really isn't anything extra to report on Donut. She is just doing really well, and uh, that's that. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!